This is the Benji that I produced using the um, Easy 3D K9 Mini Printer. You can see that the Benji is really rather nice. It's very solid and there's little in the way of banding. I actually used um, a translucent filament just because it was what I had and um, I think it's rather good because you can see the structure of the infill material as well and if you if you look carefully at the um, benchy you can see that the lines are all straight and that the rounds are round if you look at the um, uh, porthole at the back of the uh, uh, wheelhouse of the benchy it's completely round and nice and the rounds over the top of the doors are also very nice although there's a slight gap in the round at the top of the door that's only a small issue and you can see that the chimney on the top of the roof is very nicely printed and you can actually see the tra through the transparent filament the inner tube of the um, uh, funnel if you look at it carefully you can see the inner tube as well and it's it's all beautifully done in fact I could c consider that to be a really good example of a benchy it's clean and nice and all of the straights are all of the verticals are vertical there's a tiny piece on the back of the door there that I didn't notice but um, Aside from that, the quality is extremely good. You can see that the bottom is very good, um, and the sides, in fact, very consistent and smooth. The only thing is that the either the slicer or the printer, I probably think it's the slicer, hasn't attempted to do the uh, words that are actually on the bottom of the benchy. I'm not quite sure why that is. It might be due to the settings of the slicer. There's no attempt to do the wording at all. In fact, it's completely gone. The only thing I did notice that on the print bed there was a kind of impression of the um, wording, but none of none of it was actually produced in the model. I've tried to show you in this shot the actual roof of the benchy um, to show you the overhangs and um, the chimney again from the top, and you can see how round it is, and you can also see the catch box at the back how square it is uh, and I think it's a really respectable result with this printer in fact it's really capable of excellent quality here you can see a close-up of the uh, print surface it's actually magnetic um, so no need for clips and it's also flexible so you can easily remove your prints unfortunately on this occasion you can see that um, the skirt I used for the uh, printing of the benchy is actually fixed quite firmly to the bed and I can't remove it. I tried scraping it but um, the, the bed surface is actually quite soft and I didn't want to damage it so what I'm going to do is to actually print something over the top of it. Hopefully it will adhere to the printed surface and I will be able to remove it like that. I'm just going to give you a quick look um, around the printer. You can see the four buttons at the front are how you um, when you go to level the bed you just use them in turn one after the other and it's actually a pretty good system as I was thinking about it because um, normally when you level a printer if it's if you have to move the print head by hand um, it can always go out of adjustment after you've moved it from one point to another and you may have to uh, auto home many times before um, it, you can actually be certain that it's actually level based on the correct homing position um, but whereas with this printer when you go to level the bed each time the printer is calculating the auto home position so you can be absolutely certain when you do the uh, print bed leveling that um, it's correct so I think that's a really good time saving feature and this is the, on the front of the printer you can see the uh, main control button where you um, adjust the height of the uh, z-axis and um, also start the print from. If I move it round again to the left side you can see the ports for the USB 
for the um, uh, SD card and the mains power is there as well the power adapter um, socket is there and also the um, uh, little switch at the bottom you can see there's a little tiny switch micro switch at the bottom there which is to adjust for um, loading the filament so you push it back um, to load the filament and um, push it forward to retract the filament I'm just going to move around to the back this button at the back here you can see the little black button is actually the um, auto home button so you need to reach around to the back of the printer to actually activate that but also I've noticed that with the um, uh, bed leveling buttons it will effectively do the same thing so you don't really need to auto home it before you um, uh, do the bed leveling you can just use those buttons and it will take the printer print head into the correct position for for leveling overall it's a very compact printer um, and it's it, it's it's very portable which is a good thing as well what you could do is um, even take it with you um, on a vacation or something if you um, did want to or um, a, for a school project or something because it's so it's so very uh, practical and portable and um, that's one another good feature of the printer so to sum up um, overall um, it's really good print quality but I will try uh, TPU to see um, how good it prints TPU it's worth noting that the Benshi I printed is actually um, printed with some really old filament that I had to spend a long time drying in order to get it into a printable state so I have actually bought a new roll of PLA which I'm going to try printing as well um, to see if um, the actual quality of the uh, the quality and dryness to be correct of the PLA has an effect on the print quality to improve it even more it's already pretty good but um, in fact it's already very good I would say the print quality of this machine is really superb the only limiting factor being the size of the printer but um, uh, the size of the print volume only being 10 by 10 so I'm just um, wrapping the video up now thank you so much for watching I'll come back to you with more videos on this printer I'll do um, TPU and I'll do um, a fresh uh, PLA as well to see how um, well it performs with that okay thanks very much please like and subscribe if you found the video useful see you next time